Hey y'all, I don't mean to brag or anything, but I'm probably one of the biggest uh, peanut farmers in the St. Louis area. <clears throat> hey y'all, uh, a year or so ago I was watching a, uh, a video some Asian guy, he, Thai, Vietnamese, I don't know, he didn't, he didn't talk. Um, there were just a little bit of subtitles. And this guy was uh, taking uh, feed sacks or something like that, you know, the, uh, the kind of waterproof bags that uh, kitty litter comes in or uh, big bags of rice or something like that. That woven material, Tyvek, I think is what it's called. <clears throat> He had bags made of that stuff. He'd cut them in half and he'd sew the, the open end of, of the top. So he would have two bags. And he filled those uh, bags with uh, compost, manure, dirt, whatever he had. I don't know. I don't really remember. And then he planted peanuts in those bags. And he stacked them beside his wall. He had some shelves out there and he stacked them on the shelves and you know he stacked them all around his little courtyard that he had there and uh it filmed him every day or however often he did it he'd go out there and he'd water them and you know he'd pull the little weeds out of them and stuff um i know he didn't live around here because he didn't have any squirrels but uh anyway i was thinking about that and i said well maybe i should try that well that wouldn't work because of squirrels, but this is what I did. I, um, I got a couple of flower pots and I did the same thing. So that's three peanuts growing there. I've got another pot right up there that's got some peanuts going in it. Uh, you know, I won't grow any great amount, but uh, maybe I'll grow enough that I'll I can have a bo one boiling or something, you know, because being from Georgia, you got to boil peanuts. But uh, anyway, the, the most difficult part of this whole deal was finding viable peanuts. Most of these peanuts that you buy are roasted and salted, or at least roasted. I did find some of the IGA a couple of weeks ago that were uh, raw peanuts, but they were a couple of years old. I mean, I ate one and it was just... It was not good so but I planted planted some and I did have one come up so um, not a total loss but I um, I went to Rural King a uh, last weekend or last last week sometime on my way home from work and I picked up a bag of uh, raw peanuts there for uh, squirrels and birds or whatever and uh, I, I got a, a 40 pound bag for $30 which you know I thought that was a little pricey but uh, I don't know anyway I've took a few of those peanuts out and I stuck them in a, um, this this pot right here the one that I just showed you those are from that from Rural King and um, the, the biggest reason that I bought this big bag of peanuts is because last year uh, I was able to get two tomatoes off of my plants. Two. Two. Uh, the squirrels got all the rest of them. So I've been feeding the squirrels peanuts so they're not interested in tomatoes. They still do a little digging in the flower beds and in the yard and stuff, but um, they're leaving my tomatoes alone. So maybe I'll be able to uh, put some up this year. But anyway, I, I'll show you my little deal. I, we used to have an elm tree right there in those flower pots. Uh, last year I grew some garlic in them or something. I don't know. It didn't do too well. They don't drain real well, so whatever was in there drowned whenever the rain came but anyway there's a, a little um hang on let me walk out there
I get a little gravity feeder. I fill that thing up every morning before I leave or in the evening right as it's getting dark. That way I don't have to do it in the morning before I go to work. And they sit right here and they eat them. And you see they've been filling up my flower pots with peanut shells. So um, I'll sweep this off. I ain't gonna do. I ain't gonna clean it up any because those peanut shells are high in um, high in nitrogen. Made my grass grow. So, anywho, that's um, that's where I'm at. I'll show you my tomatoes. The stuff right here. This is comfrey. It's it's a good medicinal plant. Uh, if you plant it somewhere take care because it will take over okay I got some lemon balm here I've harvested half of it and I'm dehydrating it so I can use it and stuff anyway these are my tomatoes and you can see I've got a few on there yeah got tomatoes on there so I'm real happy and there's some on the other bush too and I did have some volunteers come up and I planted them on the other side of my porch over there um, they're not near this big. They're not quite knee high yet. So, anyway, and uh, I've got some. I don't know if you saw it, but I got some lemongrass growing right there too. Anyway, now that I'm thinking about it, I, th I think I'm gonna plant me some more peanuts. I've got a few more hanging baskets I can do that in. So, I think I'm gonna do that. So, anyway, that's where I'm at. Y'all have a good day and God bless you. See you later.